Kamusta mabuhay magandang gabi and welcome back to MGN Diego. Albo Silvela and you guys want me to react to a very interesting video and I was like you know what I'm interested as well. It is called Bald Eagle, so basically the very popular American Eagle that is displayed on all their uh, merch, you know, that is related to their country. Um, versus Philippine Eagle, I don't know what the Philippine Eagle looks like, so I'm going to discover it in this video. And it says, which is the strongest? I mean, is that really important? But I guess you guys care about videos where... The Philippines, anything that's related to the Philippines is compared to uh, other countries, you know, because of this huge pride that Filipinos have, you know, so I get it, I get it, and I get it so, I get it a lot because Algerians are the exact same, you know, we're always saying one, two, three, viva l'Algerie, you know, always, always, and we're, we always have an Algerian flag with us, you know, so I completely understand, um, but like, you know, normally, like, who cares, who would, who is the strongest, you know, bald eagle or Filipino eagle, but I guess if there is an answer to it, we will, uh, you know, discover it in this video. But before we start, please consider following me on Instagram at Music Gang News. And of course, I'd like to thank my amazing patrons for their amazing support on Patreon, where they get to enjoy all the exclusive reaction videos. You know, most of my ASAP Nothing To videos are on Patreon. All right, without further ado, let's get to it. American bald eagle versus Philippine eagle. Wow. <laughs> Who would win a fight between these two top predators? The Philippine eagle looks a little crazier. Eagles have held a special place in the cultures of many civilizations because of their impressive size and beauty. Used to symbolize royal power, from ancient Egypt, Egypt yeah. to the Roman and Napoleonic empires, mm -hmm. eagles have appeared on coins, standards, and weaponry. True. A fight between the Philippine eagle and the bald eagle is something that anyone would be interested in watching. Ah, there is no record of the two. They actually look very similar. It's just that I feel like the Philippine eagle can make its, uh, well, I'm gonna call it hair, but it's not hair, stand up. <laughs> birds ever being on the same battlefield. The two species are majorly found in mm -hmm. different geographical regions and therefore making it hard to bring them together for a fight. Then what's the, the two point? The praying bird species have unique characteristics and adorable physical features. Adorable? Clearly recognized by its white head, yeah. brown body and hooked yellow beak. The bald eagle has been the national emblem of the United States of America since 1782. Although they are not bald, but rather have a white head in stark contrast to darker colored feathers. This beautiful bird is readily found hunting Alaskan salmon, but exists... Okay, so I was wrong. I mean, even the American eagle can uh, make its hair stand up like that all over the United States and Canada. Canada. The Philippine Eagle is one of the world's largest, most powerful birds of prey. Unfortunately, the Philippine Eagle is critically endangered due to poachers and deforestation. The bird is chosen as a national... That's a beautiful shot of it. ...symbol as it represents the strength, uniqueness, a love for freedom, and power of the Filipino people. Yeah, baby. The bird of prey is locally known. See, this is what I'm talking about. This this eagle can make his 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 hair like stand up. You know, haircut. He's got a haircut. Known as Haribon or Herring Ivan, which means bird king. Agila meaning eagle, and Banog meaning kite. Description. The music is so dramatic for nothing. Bald eagles are large predatory raptors that are recognizable for their brown body and wings, white head and tail, and hooked yellow beak. Their feet, which are also yellow, are equipped with sharp black talons. 
Juvenile bald eagles look very different from adults. Hmm. They are almost entirely brown, with occasional white markings on the undersides of their wings and chest. As the juvenile gets older, the bill turns from dark brownish black to yellow, and the head and tail turn white. That's incredible. Bald eagles grow to about 2.5 to 3 feet. Damn. 0 0.7 to 0 0.9 meters in height. A weight of 7 to 15 pounds, 3 to 7 kilograms, and they have an impressive wingspan of 7 feet. Wow. 2 meters. Female bald eagles are larger than the male. Basically a basketball player, you know. Males, but share the same coloration. Aside from its strength and rarity, this bird of prey is notably recognized for its size. It is the largest living eagle in the world huh. in terms of length. They can grow up to 3 feet 4 inches, wow. 102 centimeters. Slightly bigger than the uh, American eagle. The bald eagle. And have a wingspan of approximately 7.2 feet. Again, slightly bit longer. 2.2 yeah. meters. The female is typically larger than the male and can weigh up to an impressive 18 pounds, Damn. 8 kilograms. The Philippine eagle can be distinguished by its nape adorned with long chocolate brown feathers. There you go, feathers. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, its feathers is really interesting and unique. The shaggy crest. Shaggy. A big arched <laughs> beak, long crown feathers, and their two blue-gray eyes. Mm -hmm. The bird also has a loud and high-pitched noise that suggests its territory. I'm pretty sure even the the Philippine eagle could sing. Real and bold characteristics. <laughs> Juveniles are known to beg for food by a series of high-pitched calls. Look at that picture. It looks like uh, it has a ponytail. Range and habitat. Bald eagles prefer wow. living in areas close to bodies of water, as their favorite prey is fish. Mm. They can be found in wetlands, on the coasts, near lakes or rivers, and in marshes. Right. When perching, roosting, and nesting, bald eagles prefer hardwoods like oak trees or coniferous they're like heavy. pine trees. They appear to select trees based on height and sturdiness. There you go, sturdiness, yeah. Bald eagles can be found across the entire United States. And Canada. These eagles will also spread down into northern Mexico, through most of Canada, and into Alaska as well. So North America, basically. The frequency of sightings can vary based upon the time of year. The Philippine eagle is endemic to the Philippines, and is found on parts of the larger islands of Luzon, some, some Samar, are. Leyte, and Mindano. Mindano. Philippine eagles inhabit remnant patches of primary dipterocarp forest, a family of resinous trees that are found in the Old World tropics. Pithecophaga jefferi also occurs in second growth and gallery forest. Diet. Ah, the what vast they majority eat. of a bald eagle's diet consists fish. of fish. They prefer habitats near water for easy fishing. Well, you said that before. Many populations will rely heavily on the spawning behaviors of fish, like salmon and trout, for their diet. Other birds compose the next largest portion of the bald eagle's diet. Really? They will feed on seagulls, herons, Damn. ducks, geese, egrets, loons, sandhill cranes, and pelicans. They are ruthless. They eat their own kind. Damn. Less frequently, bald eagles will prey on mammals. Some mammal species that are known prey to bald eagles <laughs> include raccoons, wow. rabbits, muskrats, beavers, deer fawns, and harbor seal pups. Bro, those prey are not small. Philippine eagles feed mainly on medium-sized mammals such as flying lemurs, palm civets, flying squirrels, and monkeys, uh, monkey soup. giving them their other common name, monkey-eating eagles. Yeesh. Other prey includes rats, snakes, small deer, yeah. birds, and wow. rats. 
Individuals hunt starting from their nest at the top. So they do not eat their own kind. They don't eat other birds. Of a hill and slowly move downhill from perch to perch before flying back up the hill upon reaching the bottom. The bottom. They use this technique to conserve energy because they are able to soar from perch to perch while looking out for prey. Pairs have been observed hunting together. One individual acts as a decoy, drawing the attention of a group of monkeys towards it, while its partner captures a monkey <laughs> from behind. Teamwork. Behavior. Bald eagles are powerful flyers, soaring, gliding, and flapping over long distances. In one of several spectacular courtship displays, a male and female fly high into the sky, lock, lock talons. talons, and cartwheel downward together, breaking off at the last instant to avoid crashing to earth. Capable of floating, a bald eagle may use its wings to row over water too deep for wading. Seriously? Though often solitary, bald eagles congregate by the scores or even the hundreds at communal roosts and feeding sites, particularly in winter. When feeding at carcasses, bald eagles may push black and turkey vultures out of the way. Evolution in the Philippine Islands, without other predators, made the eagles the dominant hunter in the Philippine forests. Each breeding pair requires a large home range of 25 to 50 square miles to successfully raise a chick, and thus the species is extremely vulnerable to the regularly occurring mm. deforestation. But why does it need so much? The species' flight is fast and agile, resembling the smaller hawks more than similar large birds of prey. Additionally, they have been known to attack inanimate objects for practice, as well as to attempt to hang upside down to work on their balance. <laughs> Life expectancy for a wild eagle is estimated to be anywhere from 30 to 60 years. Wow, that's a long time, man. 30 to 60 years? Hmm. They almost live as long as a human being. I mean, if you get to 60 years, that's very long. Now let's see. Who will win a battle between the American bald eagle and the beautiful Philippine eagle? A combat between these two birds will definitely be a fierce one. Their habitat and feeding patterns also differ in a way that no enthusiast or researcher will confidently predict the outcome of a fight between the two. The winner will be determined by not only strength and size, but also ability to maneuver in the air, speed and stamina. There is no doubt that the Philippine eagle is stronger and also more potent than the bald eagle. Why? However, bald eagles are also smart, resourceful, and can defend themselves from any injury by the endangered Philippine eagle. Philippine eagles are known to seamlessly maneuver in any direction mm -hmm. with high speed okay. between trees in dense tropical forests. So they're like Spider-Man. This behavior is enhanced by their physical characteristics. Though the bald eagle may be more intelligent, the Philippine <laughs> eagle is likely to win a fight between the two. Bah, bah, bah. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know if you can uh, get to that conclusion based on the information that was given, you know? Just because the Filipino eagle is stronger and more agile when flying, it's supposed to be the strongest? I don't know. I mean, intelligence is very important. But maybe the Filipino eagle is very intelligent as well. All right. So I'm thinking the Filipino eagle... Ah, Maybe, maybe it's Iron Man actually, because Iron Man, you know, has technology to help him fly and maneuver easily in the air, but he's also super strong, you know, uh, and he's very intelligent. So I don't know. I'm trying to find like a comparison, a fair comparison. What Marvel superhero is smart, but not necessarily very strong and can fly decently, you know? 
I don't know. I don't know. This is a hard one. If you guys know, let me know in the comment section below. Look, it was interesting, right? Like gave us uh, a good, they gave us good information about both birds, but like there is no fight. Plus the ending, you know, they left it till the end. It was like not even a minute and it was not a satisfying ending in my opinion, you know? This was definitely just clickbait. This is like a clickbait video, you know? They put in the title the last minute of the video so that you can watch the entire video. Sure, get informed. I mean, the video is fine, especially if the information that they are providing is, you know, uh, truthful. It's fine, you're learning something. But, uh, you know, I was expecting a little bit more of a, of a, of a fight between the two birds, you know? Like, yeah. Um, I mean, hey, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this. Both eagles are very interesting. I think it'd be more interesting to actually see them uh, in real life, you know? Um, I haven't seen any of those. I've lived in Africa. I've lived in Kenya for five years. So I went uh, on multiple safaris and I've seen a lot of animals, you know? I've seen elephants, lions, uh, you know, buffaloes, hippos in their natural habitat, you know? We were in a jeep, you know, four by four, and we saw all these animals, giraffes, zebras. It was amazing. I mean, five years, so I went on a lot of safaris. So I can tell you firsthand that it's more interesting to see animals in real life rather than just hear about them like this, you know? Plus, and eh, this is kind of poorly done, right? Like if you want to enjoy um, watching animals and learning about them, watch like the Discovery Channel or something like that in 4K, bruh, it's like being there. It's amazing. So there you go, guys. Marami maraming salamat po. Thank you so much for watching. I mean, I'm sure you guys enjoy this video because the conclusion of it is that the Filipino Eagle uh, you know, is the winner. So, yay! <laughs> and, uh, of course, take care of yourselves. Have a great day. And I will catch you in the next video as usual. Peace. Thank you for watching. Subscribe here. And please like the video to show your support and appreciation for my work. And turn on the notification bell to be boxed for future content. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah.